hello friends welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to talk about the concept of inner and outer product and I used to get lot of questions from my student regarding this so I thought to make one video on this topic the pre requirement for this concept uh, is matrix multiplication and even if you do not know the definition of a vector space you are good to go because we restrict ourselves in R2 and R3 that is in 2D and 3D. So let's first define inner product. Okay. So let's consider two vector u and v from R3. What is R3? R3 is three dimension space that is we all, all know. We may consider this way. We have three axes x, y, z. So u and v are vectors in R three. So obviously you will you will have three components u one, u two, and u three, and v will have three components v one, v two, v three. Now the inner product between these two vectors u and v is defined in this way. Okay, so u and v is defined this way u transpose v. What is that? If we transpose this matrix u, it would be u1, u2, u3, and the v will be as it is. If we just multiply this will be getting u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3 this is a real number see this is a real number because this is 1 cross 3 because it has one row and three columns this vector has three row one column if i multiply it will be a 1 cross 1 matrix that is a scalar that is that would belong to real number so this is the definition of inner product that now one thing to note that inner product sometimes actually that inner product gives us some geometrical notions about uh, vectors and let's see some of the notions of geometrical notions of a vector first geometry geometrical notion that we would be getting that is the length of a vector So length of a vector, say we have, say again, we can draw a three dimensional space. So this is a one vector. Okay. So let's draw this vector in different uh, color. So let this is a vector. U say for an example. Now the length of that vector U, we can write down in this notation that is called norm. This is called norm norm of u norm of this vector this is as this is the length of the vector which is basically the distance from the origin so you will have three component that is u1 u2 and u3 and if you find out the distance from 0 0 0 the origin is 0 0 0 the distance will be what u1 square basically u1 minus 0 square plus u2 minus 0 square under the square root plus u3 minus 0 square so it would be square root of u1 square u2 square plus u3 square right so it is nothing but u1 square u2 square u3 square so one thing you just note can we write down this one as u transpose u now let's calculate u transpose u so u transpose u is nothing but u1 u2 u3 multiplied by u1 u2 u3 so which is again u1 square plus u2 square plus u3 square so 
we can replace this value using u transpose u and again according to our earlier definition of the norm sorry definition of the inner product that inner product between u and v is u transpose v so using this definition we can write down this one as square root of inner product between u and u so this is the this is the length of the vector and we can write down the length of the vector in terms of the inner product so this is the first geometric notion that we want to infer the second geometric notions that we want to uh, infer is that the angle between is the angle between two vectors let's write down angle between two vectors u and v angle between two vectors u and v we have two vectors here and here say so this is u and this is v and I, we want to measure the angle between these two vectors okay now the angle between two vectors the formula is given by cos inverse inverse inner product uv by norm u into norm v okay in most of the linear algebra book you will find this uh, formula and in fact any vector calculus book also you will find the uh, formula of this theta so you can easily see that these norms can be written as in terms of uh, inner product because we have seen the length of the vector we can write down uh, in terms of the inner product similarly this norm also and this is also inner product so everything we can we can find out this theta if we know the inner product between two vectors okay so from the inner product we are getting two geometrical notions first of all the length of the vector and second the angle between two vectors now let's go to the outer product instead of defining so inner product how it was defined you have we have two vectors u1 u2 u3 and v v1 v2 v3 those vectors are from r3 the inner product was defined as u transpose v it is just the other way around the outer product between two vectors u and v is defined as u v transpose that is just let's cal let's calculate this u1 u2 u3 and the v transpose that is v1 v2 v3 so let's say this is a matrix of order 3 cross 1 this is a matrix of order 1 cross 3 so if we multiply the resultant matrix will be of order 3 cross 3 okay so the matrix will be u1 v1 u1 v2 u1 v3 u2 v1 u2 v2 u2 v3 u3 v1 u3 v2 u3 v3 okay this is a 3 cross 3 matrix okay so one thing that this this matrix is very uh, something very interesting that in the first row this u's are this u are column this u are common and in second row u2's are column in the common and in the third row u3's are column and in the first column v1's are common and in the second column v2's are common in the third column v3's are common okay so this is very peculiar matrix and one thing the earlier we have seen the inner product was inner product between u and v was u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3 you can easily check from here here the inner product was this one u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3 now you can see if i multiply this element this element and this element if i add sorry 
if I add these three elements, we will be getting this value, right? So, this is nothing but the trace of the outer product between u and v. So, outer product of this matrix is basically, the trace of the outer product is basically the inner product, okay? So, trace means what? Trace means the addition of the diagonal entries, okay? So, this is all about the inner product and outer product. I guess the idea is pretty clear to you now. Still, if you have any doubt, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Thank you.